use her transmitter to force everyone in the time zone to fall asleep. There was nothing you could do. A home like the planning, gone! But it wasn't in vain. Your idea is perfect and crazy enough to work. But we only have today to get started. Why isn't everyone else awake? Anna is probably prone to sleeping in. And Nell hasn't had time to adjust her body clock to the current time zone. Kind of like time travel jet lag. Well, I suppose I should make some sort of a breakfast. Hungry? Not really. Oh, right. Sorry. Sleep well? Don't think I had much of a choice. I can't believe she put us down like that. Git. The Phantom, though powerful, is a coward. She wouldn't just let us spend the whole night coming up with plans. But that doesn't matter now. Were you up the whole night? The Phantom's persuasions couldn't affect the Lufna, so I was indeed awake. Any brilliant ideas? Breakfast, anyone? Black coffee. No cream or sugar. Sorry. Ugh, why me? I hate this stuff. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Wake up, sunshine! Morning. May I talk to you in private? In the kitchen? Now, please? Okay. So, she just forced us to pass out? Rude. Well, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, I can't put my finger on it, but now it looks awfully familiar. Are you sure? Are you going to tell them? No, I, I couldn't. I mustn't. But I thought you should know. I don't like the idea of putting civilians in danger. It should be me. The future is non-existent by now. You wouldn't be able to. Do you think she can do it? She has to. There's nothing else. It's taking a risk, mate. Are you absolutely sure? Look, as an agent, I have to make sure this is the only available action. Eliza's plan is the only way we can assure tomorrow isn't the end of the Earth. I spent the night thinking and planning and trying to come up with ideas of my own. But Eliza is clever, and her idea is going to work. But are we prepared? I will be. I'm sorry. Thank you. We should regroup with the others, now that they've had their morning coffee. I hate coffee. Doctor, what's the plan? Well, like you said, we transmit me as unified thought to the seven billion heads. And that should be enough to pull me through, and the timeline should be restored. But what's our first move? Well, first we should try to locate the transmitter inside the building. From there, we can plan a break-in and make a path to the machine. Okay, we need to find a way of getting inside. That vortex watch thing is too vulnerable to a power. I would suggest using my sonic, but with me being kind of non-corporeal... You'd always use this. Where did you get that? Well, after Agent Ford's report about the Tantra space, I took a platoon of armed agents to see what we could find. The whole place had been blown up, obviously. 
But in the debris, we found your sonic screwdriver, and from the designs, I had one made for personal use. That's an incredibly dangerous piece of technology just to carry around. So, we're agreed. Screwdriver's the way in? What should we do once we've reached the transmitter? A thought. A single thought from someone who remembers me. The thought should be about something related to me, or even about me. Something of that nature. The main control unit will be where the Phantom directly channels her power. All that Eliza will have to do is place her hand on the controls and focus on this very important thought. Okay, so we have a plan. Wait, me? Why me? Because I'm asking. Please, trust me. Don't you trust me? What the fuck? No! She's the one with military experience. The world outside is heading to know tomorrow. The clock strikes 12 and the whole of reality plunges into chaos. Humans don't technically exist in the future. And since they don't technically exist, she can't do it. So I'm asking you, Eliza, please, trust me. Won't you? Okay, fine, I will. Thank you. So, we have a plan then? Yeah, let me get Lola from my bag. Lola? She means the love thing, I think. But you aren't going anywhere. You mean, you mean you want me to stay again? It's too dangerous. And you need to stay far away from the Phantom to keep Lola out of harm's way. She couldn't affect her with a transmitter. But if she could influence her from a short distance, she could effectively erase me. And everything we're trying to achieve will fail. But you need to stay here. And no. stay safe. I couldn't bear to see you get hurt. Yes, Doctor, fine. But I'm not too happy about it. Do you really think we can do this? I spent the night time thinking about it. It's a flawed plan that has a higher potential to work than anything else. Don't worry. Everything will work out if we start working on this. Trust me. Are you coming? I'll worry if I want to. So we have a little plan after all. Perhaps I need to dampen their spirits. Just a bit. horizon of chaos, the more powerful it becomes. The transmitter was just a way of him establishing power. We need to keep going.
future caught up with her as she ceased to exist. But if we transmit me now, we can save her and the future. There has to be another way! I spent hours on her sleep trying to think of another way, but there isn't. What if I talk to him? The Phantom? We have a plan that can destroy everything he's worked for. We can bring him into setting things right. You can't appeal to him. He won't do it. You said we have to give him a chance. A choice. I knew you would come to see me. I came to offer you something. To offer me something. I have a plan. One that will destroy everything you've worked to build here. Yes, I know. So, either you bring the doctor back, or we'll destroy your work here and imprison you again. There is no guarantee I will be imprisoned again. He should have told you that. And you are so against killing the doctor to achieve peace on Earth. You must bring him back. Why would you want the whole world to fall apart? Because I am chaos. Oh, and it's, it's an archaic name, and my true name is much too long and loud and unintelligible for your mortal ears to hear, little human. But I am chaos, and I need chaos to feed upon. The destruction of the Doctor was the tastiest thing I have ever done. But I am still thirsty for more. Please, think of everyone who is going to die. Are you... Are you trying to appeal to my good nature, little human? There is nothing little about being human. Oh, there he is, the defender of the Earth. I was wondering when you'd show up. Eliza, you know what you have to do. But she can't. She's weak and frightened. You have soldiers as friends, Doctor, but this one is wallowing with flaws. But you see, that's the beauty of a human being. I am the physical manifestation of chaos, Doctor. If I do not find her flaws beautiful, why should you? Because flaws mean room for improvement, a potential for change, a chance to learn something. You see, the human race is privileged because in their short lives, they can learn so much from their mistakes. The flaws don't have to be the defining traits. You see, the beauty of a human being is that they can be so much more than their flaws. They may get into the habit of running away or dismissing things they don't understand, and that's a flaw. But it's a flaw they can go against when they know when it's the right thing to do. Now, wasn't that just beautiful? Shut up! I'm trying to concentrate. No! The thought's already taking effect, and you're not going to lay a finger on her. Just one thought. I'm so sorry, Doctor. You're so small, pathetic and small. You fell to the earth hundreds of years ago, were locked away in an attic and forgot. And now you've bitten off more than you can chew. And thanks to your mind, I'm free. We're just not. Thought is more than enough to change the world. Doctor. No! Doctor! 
Goodbye, everyone. shambles. Your people are struggling. This isn't going to be easy, but I want you to be sure of one thing. You are strong enough and you are smart enough to do this. You are and always will be amazing. It was an honor to have known you. I have to go. July 25th, he did it! He's gone. I think I may be dying. Is there something I can do? No, but that's okay. I just, I wanted to stop by and ask you something. What, what is it? If I offer to take you anywhere in time and space, anywhere in the universe, would you say yes? What? All of history, the future, the stars and the planets. Would you? Yes, I, I think I would, but why are you asking me now? I wanted to ask you when I first met you. Before... Before this. There must be something I can do. Just let me. Let me. You may want to stand back. You see, it's, it's my time. I met an old monk who said my time would come. 100 years. That's what it took for it to sink in, for it to click. You know, this isn't the end. The end of a page, of a chapter. But there's still so much more to the story. Thank you trusting me. Doctor? So, all of time and space? <laughs> 